Welcome to Equestrian Nation. There was a time when one man had an American dream that he would build a farm. He would sow seeds and produce plants for health and wellness. The farm would breed and cultivate magnificent horses and other horsemen from around the land would bring their magnificent horses to the farm for a competition. But the competition wouldn't stop there. World champion cowboys would also come to the farm to compete in a rodeo as the last chance to qualify for the National Finals Rodeo in Las Vegas, Nevada. The Dream Farm would host jousting tournaments where even young men and women would learn the centuries-old sport of jousting. The Dream Farm would also have many other animals, all sorts living there. They would celebrate different cultures and entertain the guests with legendary American music icons. People from all over the world would come to the farm to see the plants, animals, and competition, and they'd experience the reconnecting of their inbred spirit to their truly human roots and disconnecting from the dependence of the cold world of technology. The man with the dream is Gary Young, and he built his dream farm in the great state of Utah. Welcome to the Young Living Family Farm in Mona, Utah, and the second annual Young Living Draft Horse Show. <laughs> the Young Living Draft Horse Show features 12 hitches of heavy draft horses. Shires, Clydesdales, Percherons, and Belgians all compete in the traditional hitch classes for a chance at the $90,000 in prize money. From the one horse cart classes to the team unicorn and four, six and eight horse hitch classes, this is a sight to behold. But this show is a little different from other draft horse shows because there are all breed classes open to ponies, mules and light driving horses. Anything that pulls a cart or a wagon. You know, last year we had people tell us, you knocked it out of the park, how could it be better than this? And this year it is better. This draft horse show, PRCA Rodeo and Fall Harvest, is held at the Young Living Family Farm in Mona, Utah. It's one of the farms where Young Living Essential Oils grows and harvests plants to make their pure, authentic essential oils. Young Living has a deep partnership with nature, and nowhere is that more evident than here at the farm. It 
It's hard to imagine that the rugged landscape of central Utah would embrace the quiet and sweet-smelling lavender fields, but it does, to everyone's delight. 1,400 acres of fragrant herbs, a cool reservoir, pristine natural beauty, and fresh mountain air create a family destination of pure peace and relaxation. The draft horse competition is fiercely competitive, and for the few minutes they spend in the show ring, it takes hours of labor-intensive preparation. Because usually if it's Belgians or Persons, they're just rinsing horses, we're scrubbing feather every morning. Seven o'clock, scrub feather, get them clean, get them white, get them pretty for the show. Washing a Clyde is like washing two Percherons, easy easily so there is a lot of preparation that goes into getting the, the feathered breeds it's a lot of work first into the show ring is the open unicorn class uh, unicorn hitch you definitely want a a horse that is a true lead horse out there a lot of times they're not as bold out there and you do like that horse to be bold and lead that hitch just a slight bounce in his trace but you like him to be very animated out there Winner of the Open Unicorn class is the Mark Messenger Memorial Hit with Brian Coleman, driver. And now take a look at the men's team class. But I am a stickler for a team being a team. You want two horses that really, really match well and work together well. Scoring first in the men's team competition are the Meadow Lake Belgians with Casey Russell driving. Well, I mean, it's, it's a lot of validation, right, for all the work, and, and the, this is a very competitive, for us at least on the West Coast, a very competitive show. Uh, you have some fantastic hitches here. I mean, you have Messengers who just won the Classic Series. So to be able to place uh, anywhere in the show like this, you, you have to feel pretty, pretty happy about that. And here comes the ladies' cart class. Young Living Percherons takes the ladies' cart class with Kyra Busian driving. Coming out now, this is the amateur cart class. A lot of times the amateur is for the folks that haven't gone in all the open classes yet, but maybe you know, for crew members that, you know, aren't a junior, it gives them a chance to have a class of their own. And the winner of the amateur cart class, the Eagle Rock Belgians, Red Thornley at the reins. All breeds pleasure driving with single pony, mule, or horse, taking center stage. We had everything from a, a Clyde or a Shire in there right down to a Mini, um, so it was a little switch of gears a little bit, but your pleasure criteria is a little different than what you're looking for in your hitch. You're looking for a horse basically to go on that Sunday drive with. Taking first place in the all breeds pleasure driving class, Mickey Faulkner driving this Bay Clydesdale. Time for the junior team contest. Again, judging those type of classes, it's 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 about the driver. I mean, obviously, a nice big, really good pair of horses can't hurt. It's about the driver, the way they handle them, and uh, their uh, the way they handle the lines, the way they sit, the way they, you know, basically handle their horses. And winner of the junior team competition, Yoder Family Hay Company Percherons, driven by Mary Alice Yoder. Awesome. It tells me I'm a better trainer than a driver. 
because they bring in more, they brought in more blue than I have, but that's awesome. It's, it's about the kids. If they're having fun, we're all having fun, you know? And they do so much of the work here. Young Living's Jousting Stadium is one of the premier jousting venues in the world. There is a steadily growing interest in this challenging event that takes you back in time to the Middle Ages and actually lets you feel the experience of this rigorous contest. Young people are learning the art of jousting, and for the first time at Young Living's Jousting Stadium, a female is competing at this event. I've had a lot of people just say that it was really neat that a girl can do it and they think I'm crazy. <laughs> you know, this is not something that's just isolated to men, but women have an equal opportunity. The other thing is I heard a lot of women say, I would never do that, but it inspires me to see that a woman can do it. And here in that shatter of the lance is like the coolest thing you can, it, you just get this feeling inside, you're just like, I did it. <laughs> and I'm still on the horse. One of the young men who's getting quite good at this medieval sport is Gary's son, Jacob Young. He's a natural horseman. He's set up on that big perch and mare of mine. She's 18 and a half hands high. 2,000 pounds, she runs like the wind, and he just sits there just like he was born on that horse. And it made Dad proud. My younger son, Joseph, he he did the spears and the rings the second day on a halflinger. Same way, he sits in the saddle like he was born in the saddle. And it does, it makes mom and dad really proud. Don't go away, more from the draft show coming up. There's nothing like a high-spirited rodeo, and Young Living's new rodeo facility takes you there on a first-class ticket. We brought in some of the top consultants in the industry to help us to structure and set up our, our chutes and our pens and, and moving our animals. When the trucks come in to unload, when they load to leave, everything just flowed absolutely perfect. It's a PRCA rodeo destination, the last one where champion cowboys can earn money toward a shot at the national finals rodeo at the end of the year. It captures the thrill of the Old West. It's a fitting event for a farm that makes you feel like a cowboy. All Breeds Pleasure Driving Class is up next with teams of ponies, mules, or horses. And the winner of the All Breeds Pleasure Driving Class, Joshua Harper with his team of halflingers. And here comes the amateur team class. Amateur team winner is Yoder Family Hay Company Percherons, Devin Gingrich driver. Now in the show ring, the junior cart class. The 
junior cart winner, Young Living Percherons with driver Marsha Allred. And now, the exciting six horse itch competition. There's something about these big horses pawing into, a, into an arena, um, the thunder that they bring with them. It, it just pulls on the heartstrings of all my friends once they, once they come and see what we're doing. for a big powerful wheel team, an athletic swing team, and a very athletic lead team that truly does their job leading the hitch. And here's the winner of the six horse hitch class, Hirsch Belgians, with driver Dwayne Hirschberger. Winning doesn't come easy, and when you put your heart and soul into it, it means a lot to win against the top hitches in the country. What was your reaction? When you there said, was a mistake. Yeah. She read it wrong, like Steve Harvey. <laughs> and for you, how did yeah. it make you feel? Uh, good, I guess. Yeah. Was it emotional for you? Why is that? Because these guys work, work so hard for well, you? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we try. Well, we we're work so nobodies. hard to put this on the road. <laughs> and it costs us so much money to do it. And how would you say? Uh, sometimes you don't that we think we don't work hard enough at it or whatever, but then you win at a level like this and you beat Messenger, the world champions. Very emotional. Yeah, I've never done that before. It's the first time we've ever done that. Young Living Farm is like a tapestry that lovingly shows the world as it once was. Acres of fragrant plants, a place where music comes alive, horse shows and rodeos and the Old West, and a love of the land and all it provides. This is Gary Young's dream, and it became a beautiful reality that he shares with all who come. because that was the whole reason I created this is to get the kids out of the city and off the cement and off the pavement and get them in touch with real life and realize there's more to it than a, a, a cell phone or a computer or an iPad or the things that they do today in, in the world and it's very gratifying. Next week, join us for part two of the Young Living Draft Horse Show from Mona, Utah.